So today we are going to be talking about Notability, and Notability is the app you're going to use most when you want to take notes. Notability is this blue icon right here. I'm kind of wiggling it around. It's a blue icon with a pencil on it, and you can find it in self-service if you don't have it yet. So go to self-service and download it. But right now we're going to click on it. And once you log in, your Notability should probably look something like this. It will be blank because I assume you haven't added any notes yet. Now, there's a lot to talk about, but the first thing I want to do is just create a note. So if you look at the top right, underneath the battery icon, at the very top right, you'll see kind of a pencil and paper icon. And I'm going to click on it. And that will create a new note. Now, the first thing you'll notice in the new note is that it has a title. It says Note August 9th, and that's today's date. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that because I assume you don't want that to be the title. You want to probably put a better title than that. So I'm going to title mine Chemistry Note. And you can title yours whatever you want. Every class you're going to have different notes and you're going to give it a different title. And you'll see underneath it still has the date, which is good because it allows you to keep track of the different notes you're making. At the very top, you'll notice a toolbar, and you'll see that there are a lot of different options. So I'm going to click on them one by one, and we're going to talk about them. And the first one is the T icon. It's a letter T. So let's click on it, and it says diagonally draw a text box. So this allows you to type, but in order to do that, you have to drag to create a text box. So this is all pretty simple. You can type whatever you want. I'm going to just type carbon is an element. And you could type whatever you want. Now, not only can you type, but you could also highlight your text and you can change the font. And there are many different fonts to choose from. You can also, next to that, change the font size. So I'm going to keep making it go higher and higher, lower and lower. You can also change the color of the font to blue or whatever you want. And you can bold, italicize, and do all sorts of different stuff. And in the far right, um, you'll notice that you can also change the spacing. So you can change it from um, 1 spacing to 1.5 spacing to 2 double spacing. Another useful thing is that you could also make bullet points. So I, uh, I can imagine in your classes you might use bullet points a lot, you might use a checklist. There's a lot of different ways to use these. And that is basically how you create a text box. Now the next thing you'll notice is the pencil icon. So I'm going to click on it. And that is really simple, right? It allows me to draw anything I want on my note. Uh, if you're drawing a, a diagram in math, for example, that might be useful. If you just prefer with a stylus to hand write your notes instead of typing them, that might be useful. And if you hold that pencil icon up top, you'll notice that you can change a lot of different things about the pencil. So you can change um, how thick the line is. So for example, I'm going to choose the largest one and you'll notice it gets a lot thicker. If I click it again, you'll see that I could also change the color. So I'm going to make it blue. Again, if you keep scrolling through the colors, you can see that there are a lot of different options, and I will leave that to you. Next to that pencil icon, there is a highlighter icon. So if I click on that and then click it again, again, there are a lot of different options. You can change how thick you want your highlighter, the color, but as you can imagine, it's like a real life highlighter. You just use it like that. Now, Next to the highlighter icon, there is an eraser icon, and whenever you touch things with the eraser, it erases them. I could also erase my highlighter, and now I'm just left with text. Next to the eraser icon is a, a squiggly looking line, and it basically allows you to copy and paste anything you want, really. So for example, if I draw a circle, it says copy, and so I can copy that. And then if I click again, I can paste whatever I copied, and then I can delete it. Now, next to all of those, there is kind of a pointer 
finger icon. It's kind of a hand pointing. So I'm going to click on it. Now, what that allows you to do is to scroll and move up and down the page without changing anything. And the final icon next to that pointer finger is a laser. And essentially, this is more for presenting. So let's say that you are in front of the class, you are projecting your iPad screen, and you want to point at something. You can point at it like this. It doesn't affect the note. It just allows you to circle or underline to show people things on a board or on a screen. Okay, so again, this is more for presenting. Now, next to all of those, you will see a microphone icon. And when I click that microphone icon, it allows me and allows you to record your voice over the note. And this is useful because you might put the record icon on and record something that your teacher is saying. So that every time you go back to the note, you can listen to your teacher talking while going over your notes, and it will allow you to remember that idea better. Another idea is that you can record your own voice. And then when you click pause, you'll notice that there's a drop down arrow next to the microphone, and it will allow you to play back at whatever it was that you said. Next to that, you'll see a plus sign. And when I click on the plus sign, it allows you to add any sort of media to this note. Clicking photo library will allow you to add a photo from your photo album into this note. The next icon is a camera icon, and that will allow you to take a picture to add to your note. Document scan will allow you to scan a document and add it to your note. GIF allows you to add an animated GIF. A web clip allows you to add a web clip. And then, of course, stickies allows you to add a sticky note. So, for example, if I wanted to add a photo to this note, I might click photo library and I will click all photos. And hey, what do you know? I have this great diagram of a cell that I could add to my note to help me out. Next to the plus sign in the top right, you'll see a kind of a three dots logo. And if you click those three dots, it gives you some more options. So one of the most important is the one that says paper, and it allows you to change the way that your note looks. For example, in math class, you might use grid paper a lot. And if you look on the right, it will allow you to choose grid paper. And now suddenly, maybe if I'm in math class, I could draw some sort of line on my grid paper to draw shapes. Now one other important icon I want to point at is to the left of the T icon. It's kind of like this arrow that curls around and points back. It's right here. And it is the undo button. And when you click it, it's going to do exactly what it says. It's gonna allow you to undo the last thing that you did. So I'm clicking it right now and I'm undoing everything that I did in the last few minutes. Again, it's really useful because if you make a mistake, you just hit undo a bunch of times and it fixes it. And then in the far left, you will see a back button and I'm going to click that back button and it brings me back to where we all started. Our chemistry note is right up top. And if you swipe it, it will give you an option to delete it with that red trash can. Now, I don't want to, but it's an option. If you ever have a note you want to get rid of, just swipe it, hit that trash can, okay? You'll also see on the left that there are some different categories, all notes, recent notes, unfiled notes. And it's important to know that you can organize your notes pretty well in Notability. Um, in fact, once you start using Notability for all of your classes, your notes are going to get really cluttered and you're going to want to organize them into subjects, just like a real notebook. So if you hit the plus icon, which is on the top left, the plus icon, it allows you to add a subject or a divider. Now I want us to hit subject first. So if you hit subject, it gives you this different colored icon and it allows you to make a subject. So I'm going to call mine, oh, I don't know, chemistry chapter one. And now in this subject, all of your chapter one notes for chemistry would go in here. And if I want to put our note into that subject, all I do is press down and hold it like so and then I drag it into there. Now, if you want to organize even more than that, we can hit our plus icon again, and there is something called a divider. Now, a divider is kind of a way to organize all of your subjects. So for example, instead of putting chemistry chapter one, I might put chemistry. 
And in this divider, I'm going to put all of my chemistry notes, every chapter. So if I drag it, and now you'll notice that my chemistry divider has a little arrow next to it, and if I press it, it collapses it. And if I press it again, my chemistry chapter one is in there. So that is essentially notability, okay? Uh, just remember that the main part of notability is starting here at the home screen, going to the top right to the pencil on paper icon. Again, it's in the top right. I'm gonna click it. And this is just where we make notes. If we use the pencil, that's to write. If we pick the letter T icon, that is to type and we can make our notes as simple or as complicated as we want. Now, before we go, I'm gonna show you one little tip. It's usually something for experts, but I'm gonna give it to you as freshmen before anybody tells you, okay? So here's our pro tip. Let's erase everything first with our eraser. Select the pencil icon. Let's say you wanna draw a circle. Not the best circle, let me try again not the best circle. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna draw a circle as best as you can and hold it. See what happened there? Let me show you again. I'm gonna draw a circle as best as I can and hold it. See what it did? If you draw a shape and hold it, notability will make it a perfect shape if you want. And then you can stretch it and enlarge it as much as you want. So for example, the same is true of squares. Let's get rid of my circles and draw a square. See what happened? Again, if I just draw it quickly, nothing happened. But if I draw my square and I hold it, it turns into a perfect shape. So again, if you ever wanna draw a shape in Notability, draw it hold it and let it become a perfect version of that shape. So that's Notability. I hope you have a great time. I hope you use it a lot this year. And if you ever need help, your teachers or tech department are here to help you.